university student at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Um, I'm taking a Bachelor of Kinesiology there and I've done one year previous at the University of New Brunswick in St. John where I did a Bachelor of Science. I had to take out of line of credit so that I could um, pay the extra amount in tuition and residence um, and my parents and relatives have chipped in a bit. I plan to get a part-time job as well. I'm thinking about working on campus. I think it's really important for uh, students to think about what they want to do in, a, in their career once yes. they're finished school and try to find a position that's related in some way so that later on when they're going through interviews they can demonstrate, they can show, I have these skills, I learned them when I did this job. The year that I did on the East Coast, it was about $15,000, um, about seven for um, residence, seven for tuition, and then about $1,000 in textbooks. Um, on top of that, I had travel costs. This year, I'll be attending university closer to home, so I won't have the travel expenses, but it will cost me a little bit more. The program that I'm taking is a little bit more expensive because it's more hands-on, so there's more technology involved, um, and it will be around $20,000 for the year. One thing she might want to consider is actually living at home for the remainder of her years um, in her undergraduate degree, considering she's also wanting to go on to a postgraduate degree as well. Um, this would save her a tremendous amount. I think she's probably not detail driven enough. Um, you need to know exactly how much it costs you to live, the difference between needs, the difference between wants, and one of the most valuable lessons that a university student gets is exposure to just that. Mostly I just have a mental idea of what I have to spend and then I just sort of use a passbook to keep track of like where my money's going so I know what I'm spending it on and then I can kind of um, rein it in if I'm spending too much or I can set aside more if I think that I can splurge a little bit more for that month. I like my clients to have a working bank account and then I like them to have savings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's very important that only enough money to cover the needs goes into the checking account and they run out of that. And then the savings are, are totally separate. I'm thinking about doing uh, physiotherapy after university. Um, now that's a graduate program, so I'll have um, more debt from doing that. As a physiotherapist, I'd make approximately uh, $50,000 as a salary. They have to be made realize That's that right. $50,000 gross is not $50,000 net. That's right. And um, you know then you have debt to repay That's off of right. that still That's and right, living yeah. expenses mm -hmm. That's and uh, you know if you're budgeting on $50,000 and then all of a sudden your paycheck comes in and it's not gross it's net of deductions that's going to be a rude awakening and a, a huge shortfall. Yeah. It, it can take a significant amount of time perhaps eight to ten years to repay these loans and um, she will have to budget for that when she starts uh, uh, working full, on a full-time basis to know that that is one of her commitments that she will have to look after 